I have a good friend who was having trouble with strep being passed from family member to family member, and they just couldn't seem to get rid of it for the longest time. And she was um, she was going to my osteopath, Dr. Goldberger, and he told her to go home and open every window in the house. He said, get the kids out, get them someplace warm, and open up every window in the house and let the breeze blow through the house and to go home and throw all of her toothbrushes away. So that was what they did. They went home and opened all the windows in the house. She was fortunate to have a whole house fan, so she was able to just, big, big thing, it was built into the house. She was able to just turn that on. The wind pulled through there like a Santa Ana winds or whatever. And um, I always have remembered that because we had uh, we had another family that were friends of ours, and they were just sick a lot. They just were sick a lot. They had one thing after another, and in the summertime, their house was shut up tight as a drum, and they had central air conditioning. In the wintertime, it was shut up tight as a drum with the central heating system. So they never really got the breezes blowing through the house, and they didn't have a big, we have a big old-fashioned sliding windows that open up practically the whole front of the living room, and they didn't have windows like that. They had little tiny windows, and, and, uh, just think it's a really good idea sometimes to just let the accumulated ick <laughs> blow out the doors. And even now that the weather is colder, um, I have been opening up my front door. And it's what well, it was probably it's been in the 40s and 50s, and now it's in the 30s. But open up, opening up the front door for just a couple of few. I have whole big long story behind that but for a couple of few minutes in the morning and then I open the laundry room window and let all the steam and everything out of there in the morning so uh, to replace your toothbrushes that should be a separate video <laughs> I guess I'll have to make it all into one but um, I had been in the habit for a while of tossing our toothbrushes in the dishwasher and because they're plastic, that's probably not the best idea in the world, but it was hot enough. I feel, figured out it would kill some of what was in there, maybe. But, um, I'm sorry I'm being so quiet today. <laughs> I'm trying not to disturb somebody. But, um, what I just was going to say, I'm not able to think because I can't talk loudly. <laughs> just going to say, I think it's a good idea to open up the windows and doors. And, uh, even if it's for five minutes or ten minutes, uh, a house plant will, I have read stories, read, read articles about a house plant improving the air quality in your house, so that's not a bad idea either. We don't have any at this point in time, but we did. Uh, if there was anything else to go along. Strep can live in your kitchen sink. I no longer put dishes in my kitchen sink. If you want to know why, go to flylady.net. F L Y L A D Y dot net. But my sink is clean and dry most of the time. But you can breed strep in your sink. So that's something you might want to swish a little chlorine bleach around in there and let it sit for a minute and rinse it out. And you should be washing and drying your dishcloth in the laundry, preferably with chlorine bleach. And sponges in the kitchen are not a good idea. That's what they say. You can maybe put the sponge in the top rack of your dishwasher and there's enough chlorine and enough heat in there to sanitize that, possibly. But don't repeat that. <laughs> Just because I would doesn't mean you should. So air out your house, get some of these toothbrushes, um, change your kitchen towels frequently, scrub down your kitchen countertops with soap, uh, change your kitchen linens continually. I have found in the past, I haven't had trouble for years and years, but I have found that using a little bit of antiseptic mouthwash on a tender throat, just, you know, tipping your head back and gargling it, that's a topical antiseptic type thing. Antiseptic mouthwash, it doesn't have to be the name brand stuff, can uh, do a lot of good too. So excuse my low volume, next time I'll be the loud mouth again. Make a list, check it twice, just because I would doesn't mean you should. And I wish you a healthy and happy winter. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, if I think of something else, I'll make a new video. Take care. Thank you. Bye.